Hey guys, welcome to another deck tech of MTGO Guy in a collaboration with MTGOStock.com, a place where you can buy, sell, and trade all your cards. And doing this deck tech in a collaboration with this site, we'll get back to it later and I'll show you what you can do in it. So, the deck tech is a brew of mine. I called it Impact Cutthroat. Uh, I just it's based on Impact Tremors, a card that it's only used on two popper decks, I think, on standard. Uh, it's very undervaluated, but I managed to win a few games with it, and joined with Zulaport Cutthroat. So these two makes the, the impact cat road deck uh, because what they do is this is an enchantment whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control impact rhymer deals one damage to each opponent so you can use dragon fodder zordlings and give three uh, three damage on this uh, while getting tokens and zulaport cat road it's a one one Whenever Zulaport Cutthroat or another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So these two cards uh, mixed together, uh, I hope will create a good synergy and a fun deck to play with. And mm, a deck that it's not that very expensive, uh, as I will show you. So this is the, the main deck. What we got in... it's a red-black deck, so in terms of... Uh, land, what you have is Bloodfall Caves, gives you the two mana that you need and you gain one life, Bloodstained, Bloodstained Mire to get the cards that you need, uh, if it, you get uh, this on the first on the first round in a Monastery si si Sweet Sphere and you don't have mountains, you just go get a mountain. Mountains of course, Moldering Marsh, uh, the new um, lands from Zendikar, and Swamps very easy. Uh, what do I got more? So Impact Rammers and Zulaport Cutthroat as the main deck. Then we have Dragon Fathers to put um, some creatures into play, weak creatures, even if he kills it. If the Zulaport is on the uh, on the game, he's gonna get burned. We have Monastery Swift Spear uh, that's gonna get uh, the prowess uh, moving, the lightning berserker, it has dash, so if you play it every time for the, his dash cost, you um, even you don't have to, to attack, uh, because it, it will give uh, one damage with the big tremors each round, so on the fourth round uh, with uh, impact tremors on play, you can cast four lightning berserkers and give four damage without even attacking. Then we have uh, Fall Tank Shriek, a target opponent loses one life for each attacking creature you control, you gain that much life, so again you can attack with uh, a lot of uh, weaklings 1-1 one, one, and you're gonna get life and he's going to lose some life. Then we have Bone Splinters um, to you kill one of your creatures and you destroy a target creature, so it's good for the, the big ones and you can sacrifice a 1-1. One, one. Dragon Fathers and Ardling Godbursts, and they activate the prowess of Monastery Swift Spear, they activate Impact Tremors, they give creatures to, to sacrifice or to get killed and damage uh, your, your opponent. We have one top terrain engineer, 1-3, uh, that uh, gives you, puts a 1-1 one, one creature, just to, to get one more. And this is a card that I can substitute with another, but I will, will test it. Drena, Liberator of Malakir, it has flying for strike, uh, for 3 mana, and whenever it deals uh, combat damage to a player, you put uh, plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature you control, so um, if he doesn't have any flyers, Drena will will do damage 
because of the first strike, immediately putting a plus one plus one counter on each uh, attacking creature that you control. If even if it's a uh, one one, it becomes a two two. Then we have uh, P and Kiran Alar. Again, it puts more tokens onto the battlefields, dealing damage with the impact rammers if it's on play, and you can even even sacrifice the artifacts uh, that uh, they made or top the engineer, and uh, you you can do two damage target creature or player. Then a uh, finisher with um, with haste, a uh, dust soccer. So it kind of works as a dash because uh, we only play, play two, and if it gets out in late game, it's a five-three with haste at the beginning of each uh, end step. If you can, if you don't control another one, it uh, bounces back to your to your end, and you can put it again on the next round, activating again impact tremors. So it's the the logic of the game. Then we have finishers, uh, Colligan, the Storm's Fury. It has flying, and whenever the dragon you control attacks, uh, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. It's good with Reina, it's good uh, with the dash, uh, because you can return them and activate again the, the abilities of, of the impact rammers. And then, the only card that I'm missing from the deck, the Descend of the Dragons, as a finisher. Uh, you can destroy any number of target creatures, and for each creature destroyed this way, its controllers put a 4-4 red dragon to creature token with flying onto the battlefield. So you can destroy all of your um, tokens, and if there's a Zula port and Cutthroat in, in the game, they, they all... Uh, Make your opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And if there's one, if there are uh, one one creatures, you can transform them into four four dragons, which is very good. This is a late game move. So then on the sideboard we have uh, some cards to uh, to counterbalance the decks. So we have the spies to get rid of the pesky planeswalkers, self-inflicted wounds for uh, every player that's playing um, a green or white creature, like Rich Sino, makes him sacrifice one creature and loses two lives in, in the way. Rhinus Pet, to destroy creatures of planeswalker, it's really... Um, means to get rid of nasty creatures and planeswalkers. Roast, uh, to deal 5 damage to target creature without flying, again, Siege Rhino, smash the smithereens, if he has um, some artifacts you can destroy it, and it even deals 3 damage to, to its controller, and the uh, burn spell. Um, for damage target creature spell that can be countered if you have two or more instants and no sorcery spells on a graveyard. So this is the deck that I made using the synergies between impact rammers and telepod cards roads to um, win the game by by these effects uh, if we can. We can easily get rid of the enchantment and uh, one one creature but if it works it, uh, it's a nice way, and your opponent is not expecting to, to see this this kind of uh, strategy, because it's not really used. So, I need this card, and as I said, I have a collaboration with mtgostock.com. It's a place where you can sell your cards for real money. Uh, guys that runs it don't... Um, don't charge any any fee for it. Uh, the only fees that you pay is uh, PayPal fees if you want to um, transfer the money. As you can see, we have complete sets to sell. You have all the staples of the game. You have uh, old cards, new cards, and tickets. Let's see. No, these ones are from the guys that run the 
these are my tickets. I have uh, tickets on sale here. As you can see, I have uh, 14 reviews. Uh, basically, I ran three bots on Magic Online. If you like this kind of videos, you can support them by using them. And I'm selling currently at 94. Uh, when I get the message, I just upload the credit, and you can take the tickets uh, on on the bot. I, I do have to to manually generate the credit on the bot. That can take uh, if I'm sleeping up to eight hours. So um, bear with me. So hope you guys like the deck tech of uh, my brew of Impact Cutthroats. I didn't see anything like this on the other channel, so I think it's an original brew. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys soon with uh, more videos. Let me just buy, I forgot to buy the Descent of the Dragons. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you just search for the car. I only gonna pick one. Yeah, two cards. Simple enough. If you want, you can put more quantity. Check out. Proceed to payment. I already have credit on the on the side, so it's automatic. And when the the payment is done. You will um, you will you will receive the cards. Uh, this guy is online from the guys that, that run the the site. They have a bot. They they will deliver the the cards also. So you just have to wait and receive the cards. They have an escrow system, so the um, you can release the money only when you get the card, so it's a uh, security for you. It's taking a little bit, but uh, that's it. The, uh, if you don't have credit on the site, uh, you uh, you just buy with PayPal, and that's it. I have, so it's go going to um, to be subtracted from the credit that I have uh, from selling my my tickets. So it's a way that you can also sell the tickets to buy, or sell tickets or cards to buy other cards. So visit them; it's a cool site. So thanks for watching. Please follow the the YouTube, the Twitch stream. Also, I will do when I get this card. I will do um, some play tests of this deck, so you can see how, how it goes against uh, other players. So see you soon. I will try to post a video today, if not tomorrow. I will do some some tests of this deck. See you guys tomorrow.